Hi people, my name is CKJ and I am going to tell you about CQ5 Introduction Uses in Architecture. Please stay tuned to get more videos. This is only the day one. So, money buddies, first question is that what exactly is CQ? Right? It's an Adobe product, that's why it's called Adobe CQ. The first thing is AEM, Adobe Experience Manager. Whenever somebody, a new learner, learns about CQ, they have a question that what exactly is AEM or CQ? Let me be very frank, AEM and CQ is nothing different. It's very much similar. AEM is most standard and fastest web management system on Java, built on Java platform. It's a complete suite of applications for the web experience manager. And the third, web-based client server system for building, managing and deploying commercial websites and related services. The last, the AEM server is Java based and runs on most operating systems that support the platform. All client interaction with AEM is done through a web browser. So you don't have to do anything extra to work on CQ. If you want to work as a developer on Adobe CQ, you can do everything through web browser. You do not require a third party client software. Okay, the second slide is what exactly is AEM infrastructure? So AEM infrastructure when I am talking it's basically uh, built upon three things. First is the server, second is the repository, third is the framework, web applica application server most of you know on the about the server. So EAM can be deployed in standalone mode on any of the server. Then repository, content repository, yes AEM includes a Java content repository where a type of hierarchical database will be there and also there are many more document uh, many more files or many more uh, file structure which can be properly arranged in the repository the third one is the web application framework aem generally incorporates the sling uh, web application framework that simplifies the writing of restful co content well oriented web application so um, you will have to learn about sling if you don't know and have to know about restful services so basically all those things these three things that is the application server content repository and web application framework basically on these three things AEM infrastructure is built let's move on to the next slide that is CQ benefits what are the CQ benefits first and most important benefit is it's a authorable page you can build it you can have a uh, you can publish it so Basically, whenever we are talking about CQ, we can create different different kind of instances, and those instances instances can be easily built, authored, and published by the developers and the authors. So it's very much uh, easier for any author to publish the pages without knowing the coding. Then uh, you will be having features, drag and drop features. Um, Suppose if you want to upload any image, you will have an image component which you can drag and drop from the sidekick. So all those features are provided in CQ. So any any layman can also um, start learning and can easily grab up how to build a page or how to create a website in CQ. So it's basically very user friendly. It's also having a standard workflow. It's scalable, reliable, reusable and faster. You can use your code. Um, once you are writing any code for any component, you can use it in multiple places. So that's why we are calling it reusable, reliable because it's ha it's having it's having a lot of sec security facilities, and that's why it's reliable. It's faster. Obviously, it's operating through the Java code in backend, and it's all object oriented. So that's why it's quite faster, as well as scalable. The sec uh, next point is it's having a digital asset repository where a lot of uh, you can save your images, videos or any other files in a proper order. It's having a lot of uh, feature rich in, in build and you can access it from anywhere through web. You don't require a third party software. Use of dispatcher is a very important thing here through which your page response time will be very fast because whenever we are using dispatcher Dispatcher purpose is generally to cache a page and then show the result if there is no changes in the pages. 
so uh, this will make the response time very fast and your website to operate very quickly let's move on to next slide it's AEM instances AEM instances is nothing but um, instance one is the author one is the publish both is having the same code but what is the difference actually when we are talking about the authors authors will be only accessible by authors developers who create templates and pages so they basically uh, create their pages they are pushing their pages at the author side uh, once you are done with your changes you can easily publish those pages on the publish instance without doing any coding on the public side so we'll be having enough time to test your code to make everything working once you are sure with the working you can easily publish those things through the replication manager and it's not a big task it's very easier and very simpler to do and it will manage your uh, public website also so that if you are if some code is broken you can easily test it on the author first and then once you are done with everything you are you can publish that page so it's very important here one to next slide uh, CQAM building blocks um, CQ is built on the Granite platform with the main building blocks as WCM, Web Content Management, DAM, Digital Asset Management, Mobile, Social Communities, Marketing Campaign Management. When I am talking about Web Content Management, that's where we create websites and its content. Digital Asset Management, where you will be having your images, document, or any kind of media. Campaign Management, creating campaigns, mailers, teasers. Social collaboration like calendar, customer ratings, forum comment, comments, uh, linking your site with the FB, Twitter, or something. Workflow automate the process, add users, scripts, and other process. Yes, it can be triggered. On to next slide. So, get started with the Adobe CQ. You require these things. And the latest version of CQ is uh, Adobe CQ 6. So I will advise you to go through Adobe CQ 6 installation with a valid license key. You will have to buy the license. Then the prerequisite is Java, Java minimum 1.7, 4 GB RAM. That is the minimum RAM required. If your project is big, it, it might require more because in my project it's almost requiring 12 GB RAM since the project is very big. Uh, then the minimum GB whatever is the project is required but for minimum you can you need at least 1.5 gb memory and then most important crxt uh, don't worry if you are already having the crxt 6 installed you don't require the crxt standalone tool you can easily operate through the crxt light <coughs> you can easily do the installation by simply clicking the jar file which you will get through the uh, adobe cq products and then set up as an author so that you can do the development and the author as well. Next slide is on AEM architecture. AEM architecture as per the diagram. You can see that the main server side or the main content main core is the OSGI bundles. OSGI bundles is nothing but the Java files or the servlet files which we are operating at the server end. Then we require the JCR on the next level where the most files will be stored then it comes the sling and finally the front end CQ5 WCM you can quickly go through this slide to understand in brief what exactly CQ5 WCM and WCM about the sling JCR or OSGI important terms in CQ these are the very important terms you need to know Please pause the screen and read about it in, in, in detail. Working of AEM, as I have shown in earlier, how exactly the working happens at the end. It's from author to publish by doing the activate or publish. Yes, this is the last and the very important slide. We are the developers. We generally operate our code. We generally do our code in CQ and then push it to CQA what exactly happens it goes to staging then it goes to the delivery in the same thing in a different way we can pause the screen and have a look in detail
if you have any question you can post to comments on my email id you can also subscribe my channel and stay tuned to have more videos thanks for watching have a great day